someone asked about deadlifting for basketball and if and how they should use deadlifts to get stronger for basketball. The quick answer is the deadlift has basically zero carryover to what you're going to do on a basketball court. It's not a question of whether deadlifting is good or bad or right or wrong. It's, it's just that it's wrong for basketball because it doesn't make any sense for a basketball player. Yes, obviously it's going to get you stronger, but it's going to get you stronger in the wrong way. And when you get stronger in the wrong way, the more you reinforce that type of moving pattern, if you carry that over to the basketball court, you're putting yourself at a higher risk for getting hurt. Without making this too complicated, I'll try to explain simply how the deadlift doesn't carry over for a basketball player. The pattern that you're using to pick the weight up from the ground in a deadlift, where you're uh, starting back and then bringing your hips forward, that pattern just doesn't carry over to anything that you're gonna do on the basketball court. You're not doing anything like that, except for maybe if you're standing directly under the rim and you jump up and dunk backwards, how often are you really gonna do that? And even if you are on rare, rare occasions, it's not something that you need to specifically train for. And it's certainly not something that you need to train that intensely for when you're picking up a bunch of weight. There are much more practical ways to train that will translate to what you're gonna do on the court. I played basketball in university, I was a point guard, and I never deadlifted. And I made it through my basketball career relatively injury free. I never had any major catastrophic injuries. After I was done playing basketball and I started experimenting more with heavy lifting and doing dead, heavy deadlifts and heavy squats, that's when I started getting hurt. I started to realize that my ability to do things like play basketball and play tennis was being affected in a negative way by the heavy lifting. I was enjoying it. I was enjoying doing the deadlifting. I was enjoying Olympic weightlifting as a thing in itself, but it doesn't have any carryover to playing basketball, playing tennis, playing football, and sports, agility sports like that, where you're running and cutting and jumping. So that's just my advice. They have no place in training for basketball, especially if you want to uh, keep your risk of injury as low as possible, so leave them out. So I'm going to wrap this up because there's a lot of noise in the background. So I'll, I'll conclude with saying that you're probably wondering, well, what can I do instead? There's many things you can do instead. If you want personalized training and you're an agility athlete, then reach out. Email info at athleticengineering.ca. Put training, inquiry in the subject line and tell us a bit about yourself and I'll respond to you. What can you do instead of deadlifting? In one sentence, push a heavy sled.